welcome. Or welcome back to 4F Beauty. Where will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Maybe in the afterlife. Right, as you can have uh, probably seen from thumbnail title and if you read it description, this, I am uh, pleased to say, is another collab. I love doing collabs, they're so much fun. And uh, this one, in case you haven't guessed, is Halloween and it's a nightmare on YouTube. So, this particular collab has an awful lot of films you can watch. But if you're interested in finding out just how to become the most glam undead scarecrow of them all, then my friend, you are in precisely the right place. Grab a drink, grab a snack, check your doors and windows are locked, enjoy. <coughs> Here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Right. This is one of those collabs where <laughs> there are still people joining. So I'm not going to list everybody in case I miss somebody out because that's not fair. However, there is a playlist linked and all the films will be in there. I think I think this is the one where we're all uploading at various times during the day. So you don't suddenly have whoomph, 20 odd films to watch. Um, you can kind of dip in and out through the day and just sort of catch up every now and again with an extra video. So, uh, this collab was actually started by Val, who was originally Gimme Lip and More and is now Ms Mischief. So, if you're confused who Ms Mischief is, it is Val from Gimme Lip and More, who I've collabed with a number of times. And she started this off. Um, we were punting around what we're going to call it and I'm like why don't we do a play on film names and I threw some around and it ended up as Nightmare on YouTube Rawr. so technically I should be doing Freddy Krueger but that would be far too obvious for me um, plus I do happen to know that Terror Krueger is uh, doing this and it would feel wrong doing Freddy Krueger when Terror Krueger is so. anyway I have decided, I've got a couple of other um, Halloween tutorials on my channel already. One is the Broken Doll tutorial, and one is the one that I did in January when we did Halloween in July. January? July? <sighs> it's been a long day, folks. <laughs> it's late in the evening, can't sleep. Thought I'd get up and film rather than disturb the hubby all night. So. When we did Halloween in July, I did um, like a, a zombie makeup guru punk type thing. So those were both quite sort of, they're not exactly beginner friendly. I mean, you could follow them, but you know, it, it, they take a bit of finessing. I don't know if you heard that, but it is soaking wet out of there and some lunatic on a bike is doing about 60 along my road and it's a 30 mile an hour road. Might as well have a walking donor written on the back of his helmet. Anyway, so I thought I would do a slightly more beginner friendly tutorial today. Um, and I'd seen quite a few people are doing like scarecrows and I'm like actually that's not a bad idea because you can make that as gruesome as you want you know if you want to you can add rotting flesh to your to your 
your scarecrow or it can be quite a pretty one you know if you've got a kids party to go to you don't really want rotting bits of flesh hanging off your face because the four year olds are not keen on that they're really not I can't think why anyway um, I won't be going as in depth as I usually do with my tutorials because although I am a teaching channel this is a collab you're going to have a lot of films to watch I've already been waffling for far too long Suffice to say, there's a speed widget up there, if I'm going too slow for you, speed me up. Thanks. <laughs> right, let's get you zoomed in. Because I'm going to start off with actually quite a nice eye look. A simple, but a nice one. Now, um, I've got deep set eyes, which... Um, I used to think were hooded because I get the same issues. I get transference of shimmer onto the upper lid. If I'm cutting my crease, I can't just cut the socket. I have to go onto the upper lid. And even when I'm using glitter glue, I will get a bare patch right through the middle. So, I do not have hooded eyes. I'm going to talk you through the difference and then give you a trick for each eye type, hooded and deep set so that you can follow any tutorial you see on YouTube. With my brows relaxed and looking straight forward, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner, so I don't have hooded lids. It's only if your upper lid completely covers right down to your lash line, all or part of that, that you have a full or a half hooded lid, or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. If I cover my visible mobile lid this side and close my eye, you can see I've got as much lid space again, if not more, that tucks back away. And if I cover the visible static and do the same, you can see I've got lid space there as well. And it's those two parts of lid rubbing together that gives you the same issue that hooded lids have. So, sorry, what's the workaround? If you have hooded lids, get a brush like this or a pencil brush and sketch out on your static lid where you need your new crease to be. That is going to reduce the space between your crease and your brow, so just use slightly smaller blending brushes than the person doing the tutorial, you'll be absolutely fine. If you've got deep set eyes like me, what you have to do is sit back, relax your brows, look forward, and just make sure when you're putting the crease colour in that you've come up high enough that you can see it when your brows are relaxed. And it really is that simple. Right. I'm going to start sticking some... That was a really nice little uh, blurry moment. Oh, one of my wrinkles disappeared. Oh. Right. I actually bought this in the sale in the summer and still haven't tried it yet. As you can see, it still had the plastic sheet in it. Right. I'm going to grab one of my Royal and Lanical Chic Pro crease brushes. It's basically just a synthetic round loose pack blending brush. And I'm going to start off by going in with the yellow. Do these not have shade names? No, apparently these don't have shade names. Unless it's on that piece that I've just thrown in the bin. Mm. I'm going to go into the yellow. This primer is my Chrome Pebble eye primer. Um, it's bloody awesome. It goes on dry, it's not sticky. You can blend it, blend on it straight away without having to set it, so you get really, really good colour performance and colour payoff. So sorry. I'm going to try and cut some of these yawns out. <laughs> um, white is the lightest. They also do a deep chocolate brown and a black and then three skin tone shades in between. So you should be able to find something that will work for you. I'm going to start off up here popping some of this yellow just lightly and blend that. I like to leave sort of Four or five mils between the colour and my brow, 
just that if I put a brow highlight on it shows up nicely and I'm not putting too much pigment on the brush to try and minimize the fallout although you know I'm doing my um, base afterwards but I don't see the point in wasting shadow in fallout Okay, that's built up quite nicely. I'll do the same this side. I'm really looking forward to seeing the looks that everyone's doing. I love Halloween. I think it's my, I think it's probably my favourite part of the year. Closely followed by Christmas. Although, to me, I love seeing all the presents wrapped up neatly under the tree and not knowing what's in them. I get more fun out of watching other people open presents I've bought for them than I do opening presents that are for me. I'm weird like that. I get real joy seeing them appreciate something that I've, I've put thought into because I do put thought into my gifts. So what is your favourite part of year? Is it Halloween? Have you got Halloween parties you're going to? Okay, I like that. Um, because my eyes are not symmetrical because I'm not James Charles and I don't photoshop them. <laughs> yes, that's shaded. I don't care. Um, I'm just relaxing the brows and making sure that the shapes look the same both sides. Uh, and now I'm going to go in with some of the orange, same brush, I'm not going to clean the brush off because it's just, I'm going through the gradient really. I'm going to pop some of this on next and blend that into the yellow, looking a little bit like a candy corn. Not that we really get those over here. They're not a traditional Halloween. We don't really have traditional Halloween sweets unless you count uh, Cadbury's cream egg becoming the Cadbury's slime egg where instead of um, white and yellow fondant in it. It's usually green fondant as if the egg's gone off. Um, and uh, Monster Munch, instead of having monster feet, tend to have like spider web shapes instead. But I don't, I can't really think of anything specifically Halloween themed in terms of candy etc. Except for like I said the uh, Cadbury's cream egg. Or Cadbury's scream egg I think they call it. Halloween. So I usually pick up a couple of those but oh my goodness the fondant in them is so sugary and so sweet. It makes my teeth itch. If you know what I mean by that. Uh, I picked up a lot of sort of traditional rainbow palettes in the summer and I still haven't used them all. But then I'm the kind of person that I'll do a deep grungy look in the middle of the summer and I'll do a, a pastel pretty kind of springtime look in the middle of winter when it's snowing outside. But I just... I normally find that if it's a really dull day Depending on my mood, I'll either get drawn to really dull colours, not dull colours, but deeper shades, or I'll try and brighten the world up with my eyeshadow instead. Okay, they actually blended really nicely together. I am very, very pleasantly surprised. I'm going to go into the cherry red now and see if we can continue with this good thing. Because reds are difficult to do. And I'm just going to take that about halfway along the crease rather than coming all the way in. And I'm literally barely moving that shadow around at all because I still want to see the orange. But I just want to add a little bit of boom boom pow to the outside here. Pop a little bit onto the out a third of the lid there. Right, you can see what I mean when I'm relaxing my brows now, you can't actually see that. 
just need to bring that right up just a fraction more. There we go. So, what are your plans for Halloween? Do you have plans for Halloween? Do you have kids? Are you going trick or treating? If you're going trick or treating with your kids, do you get dressed up? Because I always did with my nephews and my god kids. I was walking around with them, making sure they were safe. Prior to me having walking issues, obviously, with my back and me. I'd always get dressed. Joining the fun. And, you know, go to the pub at Halloween and looking like death warmed over before you have a hangover the next morning. It's great. But I actually, I'm really quite impressed with these shadows and how quickly those have blended together. Right, I'm just going to clean this brush off on a, I've just got a clean washcloth. Um, I find it's much more gentle on the bristles than a colour switch, especially if you've got um, a natural hairbrush you're using. I mean, I'm using synthetic today, but I really wouldn't recommend using a natural hairbrush in a colour switch at all. And I think I'm going to pick up... Now, shall I do the white, put in the candy corn? Or shall I do the green? I think I'll do the white, which is a shimmer. And as I always do, the first, ooh, first time I try a shimmer, I'll always put it on dry. Just to see exactly how much opacity it has. And hello, Violet Voss, coming through with the pigment. I'm just going to buff the edge there just to. Blend that together. I really like that. Oh, this is a Morphe M321, by the way. Right, this side I've got super deep creasing here from where my eye was pulled around when I was five years old at the ophthalmic because this is the eye that I'm blind in. So I do have to stretch my lid out otherwise. The shimmer pigment builds up in it and then just flakes down my face for the rest of the day, which is not good. Okay, definitely getting candy corn vibes from this. Right, I'm going to pause you while I chuck some, um, some foundation and some base products on and I'll be back to continue with the whole scarecrow look uh, but this is I mean you can do whatever I look you want I just I just felt like you know Halloween candy corn felt appropriate right you will see me instantly I will see you next time I press the record button right so I have got my foundation on I've got my concealer on powdered everywhere and I've done a heavier bronze than I would normally do. Haven't done my brows yet because I'm not sure what I'm doing with those just yet. But I'm going to grab my Juvia's, um, what is this? A Freak blush in Serafina. And I'm going to get. Uh, the M321 brush again because I want to make this really, really obvious colour. This may not be deep enough, I may have to go in with an eyeshadow, but I kind of want to start if I can with this. Now, I wonder if I've got a I wonder if this one might have a blending brush and just... Ah, that one's better, I think. Right, this is just a random blending brush from AliExpress with the diamond cut handles. So I'm just really 
in a very, very obvious circle of blush because when scarecrows are in the field, usually it's the farmer painting a face on them to scare all of the birds away from the crops and yeah I kind of feel a little bit like it's the 80s again putting this much blush on but it's so much fun I like Clean that brush off and put that back. Now, I want to do something with the nose. Um, let's zoom you in just a fraction, just so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Yeah. Right, I am going to grab... This is one of the Jeffrey JS7 Morphe brushes, but I love how fine they are. I bought about four of them because I like them so much. Hmm. I feel like Aunt Sandy from Words or Gummage. Thinking about it, was she a scarecrow? I think she might have been. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to go into the sort of burgundy red in the Violet Voss palette. I'm just going to kind of draw a bit of an outline on my nose. might help if I get a little bit of a mirror because you're quite a long way away and I'm quite zoomed out. And I haven't got contact lens in. So, uh, Because, of course, don't forget, most scarecrows wouldn't actually have a nose that sticks out. It would just be like a, a hessian sack. So it would rely on the painting on it to actually resemble a face. So I'm just going to fill this in. Probably could use a slightly thicker brush, couldn't I? Now I've done the outline. Why do you always get an itch just at that point? Oof! Right. Let's grab. This is a Chic Pro smudger. just going to fill my nose in basically. I might speed you up at this point, then again I might not. Oh, I hope this doesn't stain. I didn't think about that. Oh, well, I've got foundation on and powder. Hopefully that'll be enough to uh, prevent any staining. If not, I'll just pretend I've got a cold. Be fine. Be absolutely fine. Okay. grab this other brush about and I think I'll go into the let's go into the blue and I 
think. Don't ask me why, I just feel like painting a triangle on my forehead. I am not a member of the Illuminati. I'm just a scarecrow that's fallen apart and been patched with uh, something blue. I love doing this sort of thing, it's so much fun. I loved the makeup in the 80s, but um, I couldn't be as avant garde as I wanted because I had a very conservative mum who, the first time I put proper, you know, fashionable 80s style makeup on, took me up to see my aunt who instantly told me I looked like a streetwalker and to go and wash my face. So, yeah. I used to have great fun with my mates at the weekends though. What mum didn't see, didn't hurt her. Right, done the majority of that with this little brush instead of getting the smudger brush. Well done, Ange. This is the problem of doing makeup at stupid o'clock in the morning. At least I feel I'm doing something, you know, useful with my time. Okie dokie. Clean those two brushes off. And let's grab an eyeliner. Let's grab this one. This is Yangina Liquid Eyeshadow. No, liquid eyeliner even. And I'm going to use this to outline the bits I've just coloured in. And yes, you do need quite a steady hand for this. Also, yes, I am balancing my elbow on my boob. Add a bit of stitching. Nice. Now I've got to do the same with the nose. whilst trying to stay on camera and in focus and not stick this up my nose so that I sneeze everywhere Do you have any idea the multitasking that's going on in my brain right now? Right. Let's add some stitching to my nose This is on point. So tight. Nice. Right, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. Um, I think I'm just going to use an ordinary eyebrow pencil to pencil those in. Then I'll be back to do my lips because I haven't decided what I'm doing with the mouth yet so I'll pause you while I go and do my brows and I'll be back 
Ooh, actually, I might, I might chuck some colour under my eyes. Send me back in a minute. Hello, you look a bit close. Right, let me get that M three two one again. And I think actually I'm going to go into that green because it is calling me. I'm just going to run a little bit of that. Just along the lower lash line. Because, well, why not really? Right, I'm going to pause you while I do my brows and I'll be straight back. Okay, so I did my brows and then I grabbed my Jeffree Star Weirdo and I chucked that on my lips. But rather than emphasise my cupid's bow like I normally do, I've kind of gone straight across with it, even though it still looks like I've emphasised it a little bit. I just didn't want to go in with eyeliner on my lips because that would just be so drying it would be redonkulous. So I think what I'm going to try and do is like a, a stitched mouth. So kind of draw this in. And then thicken that up a little bit. And then I think Sorry, it's difficult to talk and do this. Okay. Quite happy with that. Right. Um, I've chucked some mascara on. I used the uh, Essence Maximum Definition Volume Mascara. I'm really glad that I didn't use this on my lips because I can feel this tightening up on my face. Um, scarecrows aren't shiny, so I'm actually going to not put any highlight on. Do not fall down with shock. Please do not fall down with shock. Um, to make this more party, if you wanted to, you could always add glitter to the nose and to the eye patch there and maybe the cheeks, but I am, I am keeping this full on scarecrows. So... I am going to do something, I can't stop looking at myself in the 
Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm meant to be talking to you, not... I just look absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so... <laughs> I'm going to pause you, honestly, one last time, and I'll be back with uh, something done with my hair for the final look. Don't go away now. I decided this scarecrow deserved more than just a flippy floppy hat. Who remembers that one? I'm a jingle tangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. Maybe it's just a UK thing, I don't know. But I decided this scarecrow going glam baby she's got male scarecrows to uh, go chat up so if you'll excuse me I'm off to go uh, uh, find me some girls and ghouls to go and have some fun with uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it is a little more beginner friendly than my previous tutorials are, uh, but as you can see it still gives you a very acceptable Halloween Queen look. Right, now that you have watched this one uh, I'm going to need you to go and check out the playlist and see everybody else's looks because you can bet your life you are going to have some inspiration for your Halloween look. In fact, you're probably going to have so much inspiration, you're going to want Halloween to last more than just the one night. So, if you are new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, I normally do much more, shall we say, uh, daytime appropriate looks? This is just a little bit of fun, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you'd like to stick around, hit the subscribe button, do all those nice things, you know. Jump through all the hoops that YouTube wants you to jump through if you want to actually get notified when my uh, films are coming out, because... They keep deleting some of my older subscribers, and my older subscribers are not happy about it, let me tell you. So, I'm glad you enjoyed this. I hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration for your next Halloween look. And if my look hasn't inspired you, I'm pretty sure that at least one of the other films will do. So, all that remains for me to say as ever, is your stay fabulous, and I'll see you in your nightmares. Bye for now. Boo. Enjoy the other films. <laughs>